Now, see, this is the kind of rain I like. Do you see the rain coming off that roof over there? So awesome, so hard. I don't know if you can see the pavement over there, but yeah, it's really coming down strong. Starting to flood a little bit, but it's washing all the dirt away. Put the water coming down there. Awesome. All the dirt's being washed away to start a new beginning. Then everything will be green and, and just beautiful. Look at that. I love that. All that dust just goes down the drain. All the pollen that's bothering my nose goes down the drain too. All the dust off the tree and all the dirt is just washing away in this rain. And everything's going to be so green here in Georgia. I moved to Georgia four years ago and it's just beautiful. I moved here from California. It was just um, cheaper and there was more job opportunity, so. This is a beautiful garden in the back of my community and um, I just wanted to, you to see how beautiful it is. When it rains, all these trees, you know what helps me sleep is when I imagine the raindrops on the tree leaves, cleaning them and just leaving them pristine for a new beginning. You might want to try that. Uh, it's really awesome. It's just so soothing to think um, that everything is getting clean, you know? Just like us, you know, we have chance to begin anew and uh, that's what the rain does. So yeah, it's inconvenient, but oh well. It's part of life. Cause and effect, you know? This is gonna clean off everything and make it beautiful and uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna get wet. My hair is gonna get all frizzy, but oh well. See the rain back there behind the chairs? Beautiful. Okay guys, I'll give you some phrases to sleep by and um, so hang in there. Sleep grandma. Hey guys, sleep grandma here with you. So this is um, reconstruction part two and um, I'm sitting here in my rocking chair at the nursery. And uh, I just wanted to say a couple of things to you. You know, just like the um, paint strokes I did earlier, um, reconstructing yourself takes time. So you need to be patient with the process. Um, you know, you need to relax and enjoy the journey. Period. Um, you need to enjoy, you know, just relax into it. Any progress that you make, Take your right hand, put it over your left shoulder, and give yourself a pat on the back because you need to be grateful and you need to encourage yourself to move forward. It's very important that you reward yourself for every accomplishment. As small as it is, it doesn't matter. I'd like for you guys to, um, to repeat some of these affirmations I'm going to give you and... Um, I really help, hope they help you. I value myself today. I know I can survive this because I have already survived worse things. I know that God has got my back. I will learn something from every situation I go through. I do have the courage to carry on. I will make my way and get through any difficult situation. It is okay for me to be still and wait. 
for the results. I don't have to know the results. I just have to do the footwork. Sometimes being still is the answer. I know I am doing my personal best and it will be okay. I know that I am not the only one that feels this way. I know that most things take time and I have to be patient. I know I want it yesterday, but things have to take their course. So I need to be patient. I know that I am not alone. There are people around me that care about me. And there is someone I can trust that I can share my information with. I know that tomorrow <clears throat> is a new day. I know that I can start my day over at any time. The day may have its bad moments, but bad moments don't have to ruin the whole day. If my day is not going well, I can start it over right then and there. I know I have a bright future ahead of me. I know because I'm doing today good things to lay the brickwork for a good future. I know that I am a valuable human being and that I deserve the best. I know that I can take life as it comes as long as I walk with my God and I stay willing to learn and grow. I did really good today. I'm proud of my achievements today. I'm grateful for my warm bed and I'm grateful that I'm alive. Difficult situations offer opportunities for learning. There is a good side to every situation. I've survived so many things in so many situations that I know I can do this. Sometimes I just have to accept things as they are. Sometimes we don't get the apologies that we're owed. Some situations cannot be fixed. So I therefore have to accept them. 
Acceptance is the key to all my problems today. I know that I tried my best today. I know that I have to take care of myself. And taking care of myself a lot of times means not trying too hard and not going overboard. I don't need to seek others' approval. I don't need to meet others' expectations. I don't need to live within the boundaries of what others expect of me. I'm at peace with my life and what tomorrow will bring. I don't know the future and I don't have to know. I'm okay with leaving my future in God's hands. Sometimes the answer to a problem is for me to stay out of it. Not my monkey, not my circus. Sometimes my not getting involved is the best solution for a situation. Period, it's okay to step back and not control. Things take time to work themselves out. Other people are responsible for their problems. It's time to relax and take care of me. Relaxing is a verb. I am doing something. I'm relaxing. I am doing something. I'm enjoying myself. I am doing something. I am developing my mental health. I don't expect others to understand what I've been through. I hope they never have to go through the heartache I've been through. I hope my children never have to know what it's like to go through what I've gone through. I hope I can make those around me have a better life. I hope to be an asset to people's lives and not a burden, but most of all, I have to be an asset to my own life. Today, I love and appreciate me for exactly who I am. Today, 
I make others respect my boundaries. Today, I will speak up in a nice, firm way and let others know what my needs are. Today, I deserve to receive gifts and compliments from others. There is nothing I can do about the past. It's done, it's gone, and I need to forgive myself. I don't need to analyze the past. My goal is to move forward from this day on. I am proud of the progress I've made. I am proud to take a picture with my loved ones today. I am proud of the woman I've become. Right now, I'm under reconstruction. Right now, I'm putting in a strong foundation for the future. Right now, I'm comfortable in my own skin. Right now, I'm making adjustments so I won't have to repeat the same patterns of behavior. Right now, today, I have choices. Today, I can choose to do the right thing every day and every moment of the day. Today, I can choose to do what's best for me. I love myself enough not to hurt myself anymore. I love myself enough not to torture myself anymore. I love myself enough not to wake up to negative thoughts every day. I love myself enough not to think badly of myself. I love myself enough to know that I will make mistakes, but I love me anyway. I love myself enough to show the skills that I have. I love myself enough to get the negative people out of my life. I love myself enough not to care about what people think about me. As long as I'm doing the right thing in God's eyes, I am good. I love myself enough not to put junk in my body today. I love myself enough to build a good fortress within me to weather the storms. I love myself enough not to be afraid today. There's nothing to be afraid of. The fear is greater than the actual situation I have to face. I love myself enough 
to actually do the work to heal my issues. I love my loved ones enough to actually work on my issues so they won't have to pay for my anger. I know enough now to know that when I get angry, it's fear. I know enough now to know when I'm tired, I need to go lay down and rest. I know enough now to know that when I get sick or hungry, I need to eat or get rest to get well, because if not, I get irritable. I know myself enough now to know that I don't do well when I get too overwhelmed. I know myself enough to know that I need to take things slowly. I know myself enough now to know that I cannot overbook myself. If I plan to do 10 things today and I get three to five done, I will pat myself on the back because I've done a great job. I know myself enough now to know that I have special gifts to offer the world. I know myself enough now to know that no one else can do what I do. I know myself enough now to know that I have a special skill that only I can bring to the table. I know myself enough now to know that I do have something beautiful and special to offer the world. I've been to, through so many situations, period difficult situations, and I'm amazed of how I handled them. I'm proud to say that my experience can be useful to others. I no longer look back to the past and try to analyze it. I move forward and I know that life is ever evolving and I love change. Change brings an opportunity to learn and to grow. Change is like the rain. It washes the past away and makes room for better things. Change is good. I'm no longer afraid of change. Change brings me opportunity for new challenges. And it lets me discover new skills that I haven't been able to explore before. I no longer need to be afraid to express myself. I don't have to be ashamed anymore. I'm ready to relax into who I am and to make my way forward. I'm ready for a new life. I'm ready to be a different person.
I'm ready to say I don't like that. I'm ready to say I won't do that. I'm ready to say mind your own business. I'm ready to say I will not be attending. I'm ready to say I already have other plans. I'm ready to say I already have plans for that money. I'm ready to say no thank you. I'm ready. I'm ready to move forward in every way. I'm ready to do the work it takes to build a new life. I'm ready, I'm willing to be open to new suggestions and to implement these new tools in my life. The word try does not exist in my vocabulary anymore. I won't try to do things. I will do them. Because when I say try, that gives me a chance to cop out. I will implement these new tools. I will pause when agitated. I will practice gratitude in everything I do. I will be comfortable with receiving gifts because I deserve them. I will get comfortable with receiving compliments because I deserve them. I will tighten my lip and create better situations for myself. I will make a decision and make a choice. Keep working on your reconstruction, guys. Much love and be grateful for the little things.